If you're anything like me, you've likely never heard of the company Ufro, and you probably don't even know that their technology exists. That's not to say that it's not insanely cool, just I didn't know anything about it until a few weeks ago, and I was made aware that they're bringing this particular technology over to not just Chromebooks, but to the USI Pen Initiative as well. So what is it exactly that they do? Well, they have this sensor on a pen that they make that works with iOS and iPad OS that allows for users to just take the pen and physically touch it on objects in the real world, grab the color from that object, and then immediately put it onto a screen. So imagine if you're using some sort of app where you need to paint something and you love the color of that particular chair or a painting or something like that, you literally touch the pen to that thing, it grabs the Pantone color from the real world and does its best to replicate it in a digital fashion right there on the screen. But it requires Bluetooth connection, it requires you know apps that work alongside with it, and it requires iOS and iPad OS. What is significant at this point is the fact that something like this pen right here, which again, this isn't a, a full production unit, this is a prototype, but this pen, a USI stylus that would work with Chromebooks and any other USI compatible screen, has the technology built in it that Ufro has made for their pens that work on iPads and stuff like that. And it doesn't need Bluetooth, it doesn't need any extra connection, it doesn't need anything other than for you to touch the back of this to an object and then begin writing on the screen. No further connections are needed, no further technologies, and honestly, it feels a little bit like magic, and Pete Mueller, the chairman of USI, was kind enough to send over this sample and a Chromebook that already kind of has some tweaks made to it so that things work already, because this won't be coming till later in the year, and uh, we've gotten to play with it, and I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen, so let's check it out. Okay, so to give you an example of how this whole thing works, we've got the stylus, I found a nice little SVG of a Rubik's Cube, and then I mixed up the Rubik's Cube we throw into shots all the time. And this is just obviously a for instance, so I, I don't draw or paint or anything like that, but for anyone who does and says, you know, I want those colors on this screen, the one thing you gotta remember is this is grabbing Pantone colors, so the color space is different for the real world and real eyes and real objects than it is when you have to move it over to digital. So you move to a, a hex code or an RGBA code, and it's just, it's a different color space, but it's gonna get it relatively close and help people to paint stuff that they see in the real world. So let's continue with our example. I want to make this look like the one we've got on the table here. So first I'm gonna grab my green. So I'm just gonna to touch the back of this. And as soon as I hover close to the screen, you'll see the dot pop up. So it's that one there. And let's see what other greens we got. We got a green there, green there, green there. And I think that's about it showing right now. And then I want a blue. So boom, hit blue. Hover close, you see the blue pop up, and we're gonna click these here, 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 and you're starting to get the idea pretty quickly of how this works. It, it's kind of like magic, and again, I want to point out the fact that this is all happening. I didn't pair this thing up with this. I, I don't even know if the Bluetooth is on on this Chromebook. Again, Pete sent us this Chromebook that's kind of prototyped and has some of the APIs in for these particular pieces of software to actually understand what the pen is sending. But apart from that, there's nothing else going on here. There's no Bluetooth connection. This pen didn't have to be paired up with this Chromebook. It just showed up like this. And because of the USI standard that sends all of the information from the pen to the device, to the screen itself, all of that stuff is encoded and carried along that one single connection. So for the end user, it's that simple. You'll get this pen, you'll flip it on, and you'll start grabbing color and writing on the screen for apps that utilize the API for this. And so any app that takes color will be able to utilize this if they wanna include the API in their app. And so you imagine we start seeing all kinds of pens from companies like Walltop, which is what this one is, and, and other USI pen makers that say, yeah, we wanna make this with Ufro's technology, we'll have that sensor right on the back of the pen. You can just start grabbing colors from all over the place and just like magic, it feels like, grab colors from the real world and then move them right to your screen. And honestly, it's, it's one of the coolest pieces of tech we've seen. It's so cool that it works without any additional connections and it's even more cool that it's working on Chromebooks already. Expect to see this actually rolling out to the market towards the end of this year. Uh, it, there's still some kinks to be worked out, but ultimately it's working, it's really cool to see, and we're so glad to see something that is uh, just this forward-looking and this futuristic 
happening on a Chromebook. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.